Welcome, Aquarian. Sorry for the lateness of these readings. Let's go into reading and see what is coming out. So, Aquarian, um, uh, this is the Taurus season reading. The first week is already gone, but these readings still need to go up. And let's go in the reading. So what we see is a corporation institution and, and at, at the workplace, there was some sort of a problem. Okay, the story season begins from the 30th of May. Uh, yep. Oh, yeah. From the, the 20th of April until the 20th of May. All right, so... Um, Let's go in and see what is happening. We have week one, week two, week three, and week four. So what we see is a situation with a corporation institution. This is a work situation for a lot of you. At the workplace, there was some sort of a negative energies, negative play at the workplace. And this is going to be ending. I see the energy of... Uh, the Seven of Cups, a lot of you were hoping for some sort of an opportunity to come in. But I see you um, uh, decided not to, okay? And um, I see um, you are, you, you're, you're um, dealing with how things are at the moment. It's as if some of you were thinking about changing jobs, that sort of a thing. And now you're going to be recognizing... I know what I have. I don't know what is out there. Okay. A lot of you, um, there could be some sort of an issue, some sort of a problems um, at the workplace, but that problem is going to be over. So if you recognize the energy of the devil is now in the reverse and the problems and the situation that was going on, that was creating some sort of an emotional situation for a lot of you, um, this is going to be over. A lot of you had high hopes for a corporation institution and had hope um, for some sort of a new opportunity. It might not come in in this star season, but you'll never know. Give it time. Um, there was some sort of a problem that uh, um, was there. And uh, I see um, that you're going to be overcoming these problems and issues uh, um, because it's as if for the people who were creating the problems and issue. There is some sort of a resolution that is there, okay? So a lot of you, you need to be grateful. Um, um, the emotional instabilities that was there. I see a lot of you had had some sort of a hope and dream to co connect um, or to find something else. And this is not going to be coming in, but it's okay. All right. So we see the energy of... Uh, management people in authority um there was some sort of a play with some sort of a management situation that some of you if you're a manager there was some sort of a problem so um this problem is going to be leaving you okay um so i see at the workplace as you were um in a management position or you could have been having some sort of a problem with your boss okay and i see um it's as if there was a um, chaos, chaos, someone, uh, people were creating some sort of a chaos and this chaos is going to be over. So in the week of um, the 20th until the 26th, uh, the chaos that some of you were dealing with a corporate in, at, at the workplace, it is now going to be over and a sort of a stable and balance is going to be coming in and that is going to be good for a lot of you because a lot of you were having a whole lot of issues um there was chaos there was things that wasn't going um, um in the correct way um you were happy to deal with a whole lot of issues um at, at work for a whole lot of you aquarians and now um, in this first week, the issues is going to be over. So some of you could have been dealing with your boss or a Taurus person um, who, or, or someone in management that was creating a whole lot of problems and a whole lot of issue. And now um, the issue is going to be over. Um, it is a situation where um, you recognize that whoever this person is and whatever that was transpiring, that um, a resolution is going to be coming in, okay? There is definitely going to be some sort of a resolution. It's going to be coming in. 
after um it's as if it was an hurricane on the work floor they're going to be bringing in some sort of a resolution okay let's look at the second week the second week we have the energy of the devil but this is the energy of fair and the fair is now over it's as if some of you were fearing for your position or fearing for um that something would have escalated um and you can release this fear in the week of uh, um, the 27th until the 3rd, you can release this fear that a whole lot of you were having some sort of a fear that you might lose your job, that sort of a thing. Um, it is now going to be over and some sort of a resolution is going to be coming in. A lot of you were dealing with an Aries uh, or a supervisor or a boss and uh, you weren't seeing eye to eye. Um, let's say it like that and um, all of a sudden some sort of a resolution comes in so um, you guys are going to be good um, so be aware of this uh, um, some of you there was an Aries that was creating a whole lot of problem um, at the workplace and on the work floor and I finally in this week the second week uh, you will come out of this as we look at the third week, what do we have in the third week? The third week is from the 4th of May until the 10th of May. The fourth week is from the 4th of May until the 10th of May. And we have the Seven of Cups in reverse. So in this week, what we're having and what we're seeing um, with this energy of uh, the Seven of Cups in reverse... Um, and it is always about uh, um, uh, Venus in Scorpio, Venus in Scorpio. And Venus in Scorpio is about you really feeling um, happy, <coughs> sorry, getting up and going to work. And it's as if this happiness is no longer there. Whatever the reason is that is coming up, May 4th till May 10th. It's as if the happiness is, is not really there. You're not feeling it. And because of this, I see a lot of you are going to maybe be thinking that, you know, I used to have, a, you know, joy and happiness getting up and going to my work. But, you know, I'm not feeling it. What is going on? What is what is happening? And a lot of you who were having uh, issues and conflicts with managers, management, uh, that is why you have uh, now feel as if, uh, you know, it's not the same anymore. So be aware of that in the week of May 4 till May 10. That uh, um, some of you might just have the sense that you, you don't feel like going to work, uh, whatever is happening, whatever is transpiring. You're recognizing that, uh, um, you know, you're not, you're not in that place of, uh, uh, you know, how you used to feel before the argument, before um, the issue that came up with your boss or a supervisor or a management uh, person. You're not feeling that uh, happiness again since the situation has transpired, okay? Some of you might, uh, uh, um, you know, might be thinking whether or not uh, you should move on and look for another job. That is also coming up, okay? So be aware of that. But it's as if you're not feeling it anymore. Let's look at the fourth and last week. That is the week from the 11th until the 20th of May. 11th until the 20th of May. Um, we see Mercury in Cancer. Mercury in Cancer. And it's as if they are now recognizing um, some sort of information over a cancer or some of you could be having it out with a cancer. Um, Mercury in cancer is about uh, some sort of a secrecy is now out. Okay, so it could have been uh, some sort of a secrecy with management, that sort of a thing. It is now out. The play, um, the, the, the issue that was going on. Um, that has to do with some sort of a management team, people who um, are in the management team. Um, some of you um, could have had um, problems 
where you recognize that there was some sort of a misplay of power um, that could have transpired and I see truth is going to be coming out okay and with these truth coming out a lot of you are going to be starting to question questioning things whether or not you are going to be take this uh, um, you know moving forward or looking for something else so enjoy enjoy namaste Thank <laughs> you.